Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining and welcome back to Wall Street Silver. Joining us today is Dr. Ver Suresh Venkatesan. He is the CEO at Poet Technologies. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Suresh. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's an absolute pleasure having you on Wall Street Silver. So, Dr. Suresh, uh, the whole world is talking about AI lately, and we wanted to bring you on and talk about how does Poet Technologies actually benefit uh, from the growing interest in AI right now? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, AI is booming. Um, you know, our, the the whole concept in AI is you know being able to do a ton of computation, um, but it's also very memory intensive. And in much of the AI workloads, the bottleneck ends up becoming the communication link between memory and the processor. And so um, there is a growing demand and a growing need to replace those links with photonics links. Um, where light is used to make the transmission rather than kind of, you know, your conventional electrons, mm -hmm. which are faster, lower power, et cetera. So for us, Poet, we're a light source provider and therefore becomes a, become a very critical piece of that AI system. Um, every processor that's going to be sold in the AI market at some point will need a light source to go along with it. Um, and so um, it's a terrific opportunity, unlike data communication sockets that are limited to kind of, you know, tens of millions. We're talking about hundreds of millions when we talk in AI and mm -hmm. we're really talking about a huge market and, and a terrific potential for us as a company. Um, we're pretty excited about this. Absolutely. And Dr. Suresh, everyone in the industry, they, we've heard of NVIDIA and what they have been doing for AI lately. Uh, how is uh, Poet Tech doing it differently? Well, NVIDIA is uh, the graphics uh, processor supplier, right? And mm -hmm. there are others, but NVIDIA, of course, is the dominant force in terms of processors for AI. And today, NVIDIA makes DGX boxes. They basically have their NVIDIA graphics processor chips. They bundle it very, very, very closely with the memory. And then they sell a system that then chat GPT and others use. Mm. Um, so that is today's technology. You know, in the future, the intent with AI is to replace these um, uh, these communication links between the GPU and memory to mm -hmm. photonics communications or photonics processing. And that's where Poet comes in. So it is kind of, we believe it's the future of AI. It's the direction AI is going to be headed as the computation requirements for artificial intelligence continue to grow. I mean, ChatGPT today has a billion parameters that is uh, utilized in, in, in its AI computations. Mm -hmm. The next version of ChatGPT will be tens of billions of parameters. So the, the memory uh, to processor um, communication is gonna just intensify, right? And, and that's where our solutions come into play. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And Dr. Suresh, a lot of people have been asking, what's the like, what's the actual market for AI hardware tech uh, solutions? And can it grow bigger than what it is uh, right now? Yeah, I mean, the market's staggering, right? And you've, yeah. you've heard Jensen Wong and others uh, talk about it, you know, uh, quite openly. I mean, the size of the AI chip market is projected to reach, I mean, over $250 billion by wow. 2031. And that's not <laughs> a long time from now. And and so, you know, uh, players like like us who participate in that AI segment um, clearly have a large total available market, you know, available to us to participate in. And and to the extent that we have competitive solutions in that space, um, it's a terrific opportunity for Poet. Absolutely. And we are Wall Street Silver. We're a huge silver and like precious metals uh, community. Is there any silver or any precious metals that's going into the AI tech or does any of these products have uh, silver or precious uh, metals components? Well, semiconductors in general, of course, use right. a lot of precious metals. I mean, but the quantities in which they're used, I think, are fairly <laughs> small in comparison to what you're talking about. Right. But yeah, you know, we, we silver is not often used other than for the interconnect metallurgy, which is typically a composite of tin and silver. Uh, mm -hmm. We use a lot of gold in our processing. So yeah, I mean, we do use precious metals, platinum, gold, nickel, silver. Um, Interesting. Yeah, they're, they're part of our standard semiconductor process. Absolutely. And uh, Dr. Suresh, where are you right now in your product roadmap uh, for AI products at this very moment? 
We have announced Poet Starlight, uh, which is being co-developed with our lead AI partner, Celestial AI. Um, those light engines are expected to go into production in 2024. Uh, we'll have our first production samples out by the end of this year. Um, and, and some of our other light bar and light sources are closer to production, um, but different customers uh, require different light sources and light right. engines. And it is a very custom business uh, because there's not really a standard that kind of governs how this is uh, playing out, right? So, so most of the suppliers in the photonics AI piece is their startup companies um, and most require different solutions. Um, our lead uh, there is Celestial. Mm -hmm. And we all know that AI, of course, is going to be growing huge. By 2024, you're saying the the product is going to come out for Starlight. Um, how are you going to meet the demand? Like, let's say, uh, you know, demand just skyrockets. Uh, do you expect to receive? Uh, with, like, how do you how do you how can you deal with the demand with all these products? Well, I think at the base, our technology. Um, enables what we call wafer scale manufacturing. Um, and so all of our products in POET um, uh, utilize wafer scale manufacturing and testing techniques. So mm -hmm. that by, by its very core definition enables substantial scale um, because the processors are made on wafers. So light engines should also be made on wafers and you right. know, that's what we do. Um, so we're able to keep up with the demand um, through our uh, wafer scale manufacturing capabilities. Interesting. And Dr. Suresh, uh, what other markets do you serve other than just AI? I know we focus lots on AI, but does Poet uh, focus on any other markets? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we've got two primary verticals that we're servicing. The AI ML segment is one key one where we're supplying remote light sources and expect to serve that market with remote light sources of various kinds. And with various degrees of differentiation. Uh, but then we also have the datacom telecom market. And here we create products for customers like Adva, who's a leading European networking company. Um, within Asia, we have notable companies like Luxshare Technologies and the newly formed DFYY um, that have partnered with us. Um, so we are making traction in the market in datacom and telecom. Um, and it's a big deal for Put because it shows our technology works and mm -hmm. the commercialization in terms of, you know, POs and revenue is just starting, right? And, you know, it's it's always hard to make that first million and then it's easier to scale to five. And then, you know, right. after that, you, you kind of can start bringing in that scale. And so we're really happy that we've got our first real big purchase order for $3 million. So wow. supply that, you know, gets us, um, you know, crosses that that first chasm. You know, I think in in any new technology development proliferation into manufacturing, you've got these chasms, and it's kind of well defined and and acknowledged in management <laughs> journals and articles from Harvard Business Review. So, right. you know, one chasm is you know concept to technology development. The other chasm is technology development to product, and then the third is you know product to commercialization. Right. And then after that, you know you 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 scale. So I think we're kind of you know going through those motions of taking fundamentally an idea in 2017 to being able to provide commercial success in in 2023. That's very impressive. A lot of people have been talking lately. It's always in the news for. AI and they're scared about like how smart it can uh, can get. Uh, are you worried about regulations coming to AI in the future? Like, let's say government step in and say, "Oh, you can't do this, this, and that." Uh, wh what's your personal thoughts on just regulation on AI? Um, I think before regulation will probably be some form of standardization. You right. know, I think we're at a point today. I mean, you know, Chat GPT is awesome, right? But it's yeah. still relatively limited in what it can do. Um, and so I think it's going to be a long time before, you know, one needs to worry about regulation in that area. I think today AI is um, very specifically, I mean, it, it it is odd, but, you know, the biggest driver for AI is still <laughs> advertisements, right? I mean, it, you know, to Facebook and Google and everybody, right. I mean, that's what they're using it for. They're trying to predict customer behavior. At their, yeah. They can target ads better. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I think, um, you know, we're a long ways from kind of the sci-fi world of AI. That's interesting. And Dr. Suresh, why has uh, Poet Tech uh, been able to accomplish 
with photonics uh, what other other companies could have like what what could why is poet uh, so successful in other in photonics what, and other companies aren't well i mean you know especially in semiconductors and um and even in photonics you know innovation tends to come from smaller companies that mm -hmm. you know are purposefully built for a certain type of innovation or idea um you know in, in terms of how these companies gestate whether they're startups or you know small companies like ourselves so we're no different in that in that regard we we kind of knew the industry's pain points uh we knew what our capabilities were what our ip was what we needed to develop and we set about addressing them um so before we could focus 100% of our resources on the development of the poet optical interposer mm -hmm. uh, you know, we 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 had the ability to kind of study what the market needed and uh, customize our solutions for it, um, and and ha ha being nimble in that manner and creating a platform kind of allows us to do what sometimes is harder to do in bigger companies because you know they've got other vested interests and big companies already have big revenues that they need to protect and so they're <laughs> a little bit more risk averse in that regard. Absolutely. And uh, you're announcing about a dozen more products in 2023. How are you able to uh, do that? You know, our core technology, which we call the optical interposer, is elegantly designed. Uh, part mm -hmm. of that elegance is the flexibility it offers engineers to relatively quickly build uh, a set of new products, right, with that fundamental platform as its foundation. Uh, so these products that we're creating over the next six months um, you know, we're, we're built on this platform, which kind of took about four years to really kind of get completely done and working. Mm -hmm. But once we kind of got to that point, we're able to, you know, swap components out and, and really spin through the cycle of development um, and to get these products out, which we, you know, we think we'll be able to continue to attract more customers um, in, you know, this year and into next year. So, Dr. Suresh, we want to thank you so much for coming down to Wall Street Silver and sharing everything about uh, Poet Technologies. And of course, we're going to keep uh, a, a close eye on it. And hopefully as the market develops, uh, we can have you back on. Yeah, thank you for your time. And, you know, absolutely appreciate being on your show and uh, appreciate being invited back to discuss some of our new developments further with the team. Yes, absolutely. Talk to you soon, Dr. Suresh. Thank you.